after people do these vision statements, and honest to God, every time I do a workshop, I complete the vision statement also. I have a three ring binder full of them in chronological order. And um, again, I'm, I'm not um, trying to impress you, but to impress upon you that I have gotten everything. Truly, like I, when I was working at Guilford High School as a guidance counselor, I was like, I'm going to quit this job and I'm going to start my own business as a life coach. And people were like, no, no, nobody knows what that is. Where are you going to meet clients? <laughs> what are you going to do for health insurance? Like, this is a bad, bad the economy. No, no, you live in a terrible neighborhood. This is not going to work. And I just kept saying the same thing, like, those are your fears. They're not mine. Like, you keep them. I land on my feet every single time. Like, I'm not worried. So go about your business. Um, but really, truly, once you get into that place where it's possible, it, again, reading these, um, they just become more and more comfortable and familiar, so they become more comfortable and familiar, and then it just becomes so manageable. What felt like big, a big deal at one point isn't. Um, so anyway, so I've got all of these in chronological order, and it's like, ah, remember when I wanted to quit my job? That was so 2014. <laughs> <laughs> so really, you move on, but then once you have this um, list in front of you, then you want to write a letter to a friend and pretend it's three years from today. This is your homework. Ready? I, I, yeah. Your dog is not going to eat this. So you are going to write a letter to a friend as though it's three years from today, and every single thing on this handout is now your reality. It's all yours. So it's May 25th, 2020, which is insane, but that's a real number. So. So it's three years from today, and everything on this list is now yours, and you are going to write a letter to a friend and tell them about your life. And not just in list form, but how you feel. It feels so good to have the freedom and flexibility to only work Monday through Thursday, and never before 10 a.m., which is something I, that's what I created for myself. I only work Monday through Thursday, and I don't see clients before 10 a.m. because I don't want to. Why not? You know, so then once you get, and it, it seemed ridiculous when I had a traditional job, when all these people are like, don't, you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't do that, and then you do, and then you land on your feet, and then you say, okay, that worked, well, what else would work? And then you start to really integrate the things that you love, and then you get that, and it's like, oh, that's so funny, I thought this would take a decade, and it took 10 weeks, or, or whatever it is. Um, so when you write this letter to a friend, uh, don't send it, well, you can, but that would be crazy. <laughs> and they would like, unfriend, click. Um, but what you want to do is write this letter as though it's already yours, and then I want you to read it at night and read it in the morning. Just keep it next to your bed, because this is, the mo again, like the, the more you read it, the juicier it gets and the more manageable it gets. So this is now, it's called your vision statement. So this is your vision statement of what you would like your life to look like. I promise you it will not take three years. By 2020, you'll be like, oh, that was cute. Because you're going to rewrite this every couple of months because you're going to discover that everything that you desired is starting to show up. Opportunities present themselves. People arrive. Like, it becomes this magical, fun game of manifesting. But if you fall off, you've got to pull yourself back on and say, well, I tried that for an hour and it didn't work. <laughs> Not really that way. Um, so this vision statement, once you read it in the morning and in the evening, you're just going, it, it's just going to feel really good. Because right now when you're writing things as though they're already yours, it feels ridiculous. Like, uh, there's no way I could retire next June. I don't know how I would ever do that. But then once you start to really get into that space, of course it's possible. Of course it's possible. Anything is possible, really. 